What's up y'all, Coach Dan Palacios of Kinetic Training here. Today we're gonna to talk about a minimalistic warm-up for executing the free weight deadlift to our maximal reps. So we're gonna focus on RPR, that's Reflexive Performance Reset, utilizing our, our Hypervolt Massager by Hyperice, our Breath Belt to help realign the tissues, create that diaphragmatic breathing and that power breath pulse, and then our WEC method, BOSU ball and limit force elastics to create that post-activation potentiation. So we're ready to take on that deadlift every time we go at it. And of course, as productive recovery, we'll continue to do our reflexive performance reset drills between each set. So we're ready to take on that next set. Check it out. All right, so let's wake up that breathing complex. We're hitting the sternum rub, just a few seconds here. Belly breathing to oxygenate the system, hit the diaphragm. So as loosen up those psoas tissues, hit the back of the head where the base of the neck meets the skull. Back of the jaw, very gently here when we're using the power massager. I don't mind it, might not everybody will like that. Doesn't bug me too much. I actually really enjoy it. All right, if you wanna do more RPR drills, you can hit all throughout the lateral slings, right, through the hips, into the glutes, low back, especially if you're deadlifting. Great way to get the hamstrings loosened up, get everything firing the way you want it to. Get the inner thighs, that BMO, inner thighs. Ready to roll, lights are on. So let's get our breath belt on, get a little bit of coiling going here. We're gonna get it on nice and snug. I can handle quite a bit of resistance with the breath belt here, so I'm gonna get it on real tight. All right, max myself out a little bit on the resistance so I really feel it, and let's coil. I'm gonna lengthen the tissues through this WEC method coiling core, get that spinal engine going so that we have great connection between both sides of the brain, both sides of the body. <sighs> Feeling it really wake up. <sighs> Very nice. All right, so we're gonna set our limit force elastic band, split down the center of the BOSU ball so we can straddle it as we prime up and potentiate as much muscle fiber as possible for this deadlift here. So we're gonna split those two and three lines, choke up on the band. We don't even have to come up all the way. We can squeeze, squeeze the shoulder blades back while squeezing in. One, two. One, two. Release. And now we feel pretty light, right? Everything's woken up there. Let's use the BOSU ball itself for that front contraction. Create some lat engagement. I'm pulling the ball down just as much as I am crushing in. I'm squeezing my glutes. One, two, three. A lot of pressure against this ball. A little bit lower. Good. All right, that's woken up. Let's hit a couple of uh, limit force elastic deadlifts from the top of the BOSU ball while picking up our Kabuki strength trap bar here. All right, so check out how we're gonna set up this deadlift primer with the Kabuki strength trap bar, which has the open back end. It's nice and balanced for both sides. No matter which side you're facing, you're gonna be able to get a great deadlift in because it's very balanced. We're gonna strap our limit force elastic around the trap bar, stretching it out over the side. Then we're going to lay that down. And we're going to set our BOSU ball, boom, right down the middle of her. All right, from there, all we got to do is stand on top, grab our trap bar, and set position. Shoulders back, priming. One, two, three, see the shaking? That's the neuromuscular system firing. I'm resisting this breath belt to wake it all up. Nice. Let's get a couple more reps here. Good. 
Now as I'm doing this, I'm packing my lats down into my glutes, squeezing my glutes into my lats. And trying to create as much pressure to the center line of my core, pushing through this breath belt as I pull. That way, once I start picking up the heavy free weight, I can really feel that same mimicked level of tension. The fact is, your body is fully equipped to create the same level of contraction, whether you have the resistance or not. So if you can prime the system without over fatiguing the system and essentially stripping away from your glycogen stores, we can reduce the metabolic impact while increasing the resistance impact that the muscles get to work against without overloading the neurology with muscular fatigue. So this is another great upper body primer, right? Thoracic spine primer that I've been working with with the trap bar and the BOSU ball. One, two, three, release, reset on the other side. So we're getting that unilateral loading so that both sides are fully prepared to do this. One, two, three, boom. Systems lit up. Let's get our first set of real deadlifts in. So the cool thing about this Kabuki strength trap bar here, she flips up. Now we can load her up with weight. Makes it a lot easier to do self-loading and it stays really balanced when you have even a decent amount of weight on the bar. Now the bar itself weighs 65 pounds. So we wanna account for that when we're calculating our weight. So here we're gonna have 155 pounds to work with on our first deadlift, but we have the added limit force elastic to wake it up. Before I start, I'm gonna use my hypervolt with no breath belt on, that way we can hit the psoas, wake the system up, get in the breathing complex, diaphragm, psoas, fire up the glutes by hitting the back of the head, jawline, hit the hip flexors, QLs, glute, loose up the hamstrings, lateral slings, and here we go. First set, breath belt on, we're going to light this thing up, all right? Super easy, just focusing on speed. It's not about necessarily the resistance, but I want to maximize the amount of contraction I'm intentionally creating. Whether or not I need that amount of excessive force is not the goal. It's about creating speed through the pull. And there you can see the tempo that I'm working with here is all about utilizing that breath to create a power pulse as I pull. I actually allow my hips to intentionally to come high as I'm breathing in. I'm gonna coordinate that breath with dropping my hips and pulling up and breathing out to generate more force, more power coming up. We're gonna unload the band off of the resistance and we're gonna now start our true heavy sets on the deadlift here. All right, so that does it for the actual priming series and the potentiation series. That's still gonna create some level of a neurological load that causes shutdown, so we're gonna hit our RPR drills again. Real quick, just using the hands. And her, hit our first set of power pulls here with 265 on the bar. Again, still pretty easy weight, just focusing on speed and power coming through the bar. So. <laughs> 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 
And that's strong stuff right there. That's good power and speed for any athlete to work with. We're gonna increase the weight even more. All right, so I'm starting to feel some of that neurological taxation coming through. Let's realign our firing patterns with some RPR using our Hypervolt by Hyperice. Waking it up. Here we go. Get those glutes firing. That's the key here. All right, create a lot of power through hip extension. That's the key. So we got 335 on the bar here. Same breathing patterns, same power pull for speed. And now I'm gonna start working some singles here as we increase the weight. That was super fast. So I'm gonna increase the weight for one more rep. That felt pretty easy. Let's load it up. So it's 335. This will be 385. Another 50 pounds on the bar. Now part of the trick here is some of our athletes require a little bit more metabolic loading. So being able to remain powerful, strong, and explosive, even though they're taxed a little bit. So that's something that we would progress to over time. Let's see what we got here. Easy work. Adding another 50 pounds. I'm gonna have to find another plate. I'm running out of plates here. So this will be 435. Sorry, 425. Let's get it fired up. Now, mind you, it's been a long time since I lifted this kind of weight. So let's see what kind of speed I can still generate, even though I haven't been working in these weight ranges for quite some time. Still pretty easy work. All right, so. This will be the most weight I've ever personally attempted and I haven't been training deadlifts for a very long time. So let's see how this goes. But I'm gonna hit my RPR regardless. I'm gonna follow my plan. Belly breathing, RPR, get that CNS fired up to take on 505 pound deadlift. Let's see if I can get one rep out of it and then potentially call it a day on this high neural load session that caused a lot of new growth, regardless of the level of muscular fatigue and overall lactic buildup in the system. We're not necessarily going for a ton of muscular breakdown. What we're trying to get is as much stimulus throughout the system as possible. So if we do that properly, we can actually achieve all kinds of new growth and adaptation without burning the muscles out or burning the engine too hard. That's my best max deadlift ever at 505 pounds. Kabuki strength trap bar, breath belt on, and uh, all the WEC method priming as well as RPR with the Hypervolt. So that's how you get it done. Mind you, again, I have very, very clustered training as far as my ability to dedicate time to this kind of lift, and that's the first time I've ever actually attempted that weight. Most of what I do is coiling techniques, 
priming techniques and getting my body to contract as powerfully as possible when I'm doing this kind of work. But you see that with the right kind of preparation, the right kind of axillary training, and the right kind of intent behind your training, you can make great increases on a lift that you haven't touched in a very long time. Make sure to check out my next video coming out on YouTube here. This is a YouTube exclusive, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share. Shoot me an email if you have any questions about these modalities and techniques. I'll see you next time. Live kinetically, y'all.